This is the introduction video for scalable vector graphics for posters three different ways. My name is Faye Zia. I'm the Electronic and Technical Services Librarian at Toro University, Nevada. So the purpose of this webinar series is to help people when they're creating their posters and e-posters for research. And specifically, this is going to focus on creating graphs. So the best type of graph to make for your poster, e-poster, is going to be in scalable vector graphics format or SVG format. And the reason for this is because when a file is in SVG format, you're able to manipul manipulate the image, um, expand it, change the information of the image, and it will adjust seamlessly and it will always look it'll always look more finished basically, um, instead of looking fuzzy or pixelated. The first method I'm gonna demonstrate is using LibreOffice Suite along with Inkscape and Adobe Acrobat. LibreOffice Suite is an open access version of Microsoft Office Suite. Um, so the pros of this is that it is completely open access. There is no cost at all for downloading any of these programs, LibreOffice Suite, Inkscape, or Adobe Acrobat. Um, another pro is that it's locally hosted so that your data will be protected. Um, one of a couple cons are that it, LibreOffice Suite doesn't have the best interoperability. And because it is a lesser known uh, program, the user interface isn't as recognizable, it's not as intuitive, and so there is a bit of a learning curve with that. The second method I'm going to demonstrate is using Microsoft Office Suite along with Inkscape and Adobe Acrobat to create an SVG graph. Um, the pros of this method is that because Microsoft is a more widely known program, it will be a little bit easier to use and to navigate. And it is also locally hosted, so your data will be protected. Um, one of the cons for Microsoft is that there is a price um, along with this program, depending on what you purchase, the price can range from $30 to $120, um, depending on how many things you, how many programs you buy at once. The third method is creating vector SVG graphs using only Google Suite um, and Adobe Acrobat. The pros of this is that um, it's much faster and much easier to create and edit your graphs using um, Google Cell, or I'm sorry, Google Sheet. Um, and another pro is that your Google account is free um, a free account has limited space. So on one hand, you know, it is free, but um, you do have limitations with that free account. Um, a con for using Google Suite is that the storage is cloud-based, meaning your data would not be secure and it is susceptible to getting hacked or, you know, your security uh, being breached. I'm not gonna demo this third um, method, Google Suite, because it is pretty easy and it is pretty intuitive uh, to create the graph, edit it, and then just copy and paste it from Google Sheets into Google Slides. So the last thing is um, when I'm demonstrating these programs, LibreOffice, Inkscape, and Adobe Acrobat, um, I'm including the links for the downloads of these programs as well. 